That other color metal. And I have fun. no problem answering every time. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good, finally. And I'm just happy to see my mom back there because I know she's a part of it. Nobody can make it to the top by herself. And I have to come over here so we talk to her. Well, I don't know. Where, where is she? Well, we you know, I think she's that. waiting for me at drug testing. But oh, okay. she's happy. I'm happy. I'm ready to go show the twins that big, yeah. nice, shiny gold medal because they're going to think it's a toy. But... I'm excited, can't ask for any more with an American record. Um, when were your twins born? In 07. What date? June 5th. June 5th. June 5th, 07. And what are their names? Dante, D-O-N, T-A-Y, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and Dwayne, D-U-A-I-N-E. D-U-A-I-N-E? Yeah. Okay. Can you talk a bit about just what it's like waiting to see other people celebrate? Waiting for your mom. Oh gosh, it's, it's torture, I tell you. I mean, and we had a, a day break in between the semis and the finals to think about this thing, so it's torture, but it's a part of the territory, and you know, only the strong survive mentally in this game. So I kind of had my husband here, who was my agent, to keep me grounded, and I kind of left the village to kind of keep to myself and don't get too caught up in this whole big thing, and I think that kind of helped. Why have you been able to bounce back? Maybe some other people might have taken a different way with it after some of the problems you had. You know, I've never been known for being a quitter. I'm a perseverer. You know, I came back from twins, and I think that's the hardest task I ever had. Um, I believe in my coaching dearly. I, you know, I trust every word that comes out of my mom's mouth, and, and I think that's the main reason I'm able to do it. Well, Shinda, you've been really close before. Yeah. And so you're coming down that last hundred, and could you feel the heat from Elaine? Of on the course. Of course and I so, felt it. I'm not a fool. I, yeah. She was there. <laughs> yeah. I knew she would be. Um, you know, this year I said I'm not going to take myself out this race, no messing up, no hitting anything, no stutter stepping. Let's have a strong finish, and that's what I was repeating to myself before the gun. And you know, I, I executed. Yeah. It looked like you got past at like 200. The girl inside you, right. maybe, was that okay with you? And were you stay? Did you stay? It calm? was because I know typically I'm the fastest one out, and for somebody to come up on me, they're running extremely fast, and they'll tire out anyway. And that's kind of what I felt. I know that nobody really goes through the 200 faster than me, and if they are, they're running extremely too fast because I'm like on the cusp of running too fast and just right. Yeah. So that didn't scare me at all. I knew I had enough to finish. Talk a bit about the U.S. Night, and it's three goals there, boom, boom, boom. Huh? And I have an American record. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. I'm glad I'm a part of the gold team. I'm excited to get on that podium. It, you know, nobody knows how much this feels and how great it is for me to get this, except maybe those in my family that know I've been waiting for this for years. So. I'm excited and honored at the same time. What's your mom's name? I'm sorry. What's your mom's name? Yolanda Demas, Y-O-L-A-N-D-A. Demas? Yes. And she's been here all week? Yes. I can't imagine. 
imagine retiring without accomplishing nothing that I wanted. This is one off the list. You had a real bad